let's talk about purpose because I freaking love talking about purpose and I I watched a great video another one by uh, Victor Odo I don't know if that's how you pronounce his last name uh, really cool video I'm gonna share a couple of things of why it might be hard to, to find your purpose and then a couple of things that might actually help you on your journey one thing that he shared that I really really like is that maybe the reason why you can't figure out what it is you can't find it you can't be really clear on what it is that you want to do is that maybe you're a pioneer maybe you're meant to bring something new to the world right I remember a while ago I watched a video by Elliot Hulse and I love the idea that he said something I'm definitely paraphrasing I forget how he said it but he was like something like now we're in the age of the remix or something right of, of the re whatever that the idea is that okay you like music and you like some kind of art and you like something else and you bring them all together and you create something new I think that's what a lot of people are doing nowadays right whether it's fitness and something else and whatever it might be they're creating such beautiful new things that maybe the reason why you can't figure out like oh I, I don't fit in anywhere, anywhere I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do I don't know what, I, what the hell I want to do maybe you're actually meant to remix some of those things to actually say okay this is a little outdated this is amazing but if I bring this together with that look at what I can create look at what I can bring to the world right that the world might actually need or might not even know that it needs but once you present that to the world people are like holy shit that's amazing that's beautiful that's right maybe you're meant to do that so maybe you're a pioneer and you had no freaking idea that you're one but maybe this can inspire you to say okay maybe I am meant to bring something new to the world right I think we're at that stage now in, in, in history in whatever that that's what it's all about I have no idea what I want I mean I do have some ideas of what I want to bring to the world but I'm trying to figure it out I'm just trying things and and seeing what happens right and that goes with the second idea that well not I don't know if he was second but another idea that he shared that you might need more experience right and if I look back like when I was 20 I couldn't have been the, the coach that I am now I couldn't maybe make the videos that I make now and do the things that I do now because I needed more experience right I needed to work with more people one-on-one -on -one. I needed to work with different things to actually learn and grow right so maybe the reason why you have such a hard time with getting more clear on your purpose is that you actually need more experience in the area that you want to go in right so if you have a couple of things that you think that's where your heart is guiding you or your soul's wanting you to go maybe you need a little more experience in that area so if you if you can't make that your career right, right now try to figure out how to either find an internship or volunteer your time somewhere or make do, do it as a hobby even right even if it doesn't if there's no money involved if you really love it right you can do it in your free time but maybe get a little more experience so that you can actually find a little more clarity right that clarity that you're looking for um, and I he also share like two ideas that I think were helpful for, for navigating the journey of finding your purpose right um, he shared something that I really resonate with and that I've seen in my own life like your soul is wise enough to actually use a, maybe a temporary setback in your favor right you can actually so the idea behind that is to try a lot of things and don't be too afraid to maybe jump when you're you don't feel ready to jump and and do things when you're too scared to do them I don't think you can get it wrong I don't think you can there's no failure right it's all lessons it's all beautiful opportunities for growth and I like what he said about your soul being wise enough so that you'll be fine you'll be fine and I feel even if if there's a crazy breakdown that you go through I have seen in my own life and in clients and friends and everything that 
after every breakdown, there's a breakthrough, or there's the opportunity for a breakthrough, right? And how many people have gone through extreme downs, right, and breakdowns and crazy things happening, and that's when they come out of that and they really find their purpose. Like someone that comes to mind is uh, Neil Donald Walsh. Like, I think he spent a year on the streets, uh, living in the streets, right? Sleeping on, on the streets and everything. And at that time was when he, maybe everything clicked and he figured out, okay, the, the, the book that he wanted to write, and I don't know the timing of, of everything, but he had an insane breakdown and a long one for a whole year I think it was but then think of what came out after that right how many books he's made how many programs and how many beautiful things he's done to help people right and I know that after a lot of my quote-unquote negative experiences I've learned so much that that's how I've been able to help more clients right through coaching that I do believe when we try things, right, when we try whatever you feel like trying, whatever your heart is telling you to try, there's a lot of beauty behind it. There's, there can be a treasure hiding there that you're not going to discover that treasure by staying in your comfort zone, right? And in my case, I used to lack so much clarity, like I was so confused on what I wanted to do, but then when I started trying things, that was the only way I was going to get more clear. At least that's how I work, how my mind works. Like, I don't know, I could just sit down with pen and paper and the pros and cons and all that crap that people tell you to do. I mean, it's all helpful. <laughs> Sorry that I called it crap, but I mean, life doesn't happen in paper. Life happens out there, right? Life happens out here. So try things, right? Try things. I guess that's it. <laughs> I'm going to stop there for that point. And then the last one that he shared that I think it, it also goes with that and it's very helpful is to get comfortable with making mistakes. I, I used to be terrified of making mistakes and I stopped making videos for a long time because I was like, ah, I'm never going to say the right thing. And even all these videos that I'm making now, like as, as soon as I turn off the camera, there's three more things that I wanted to share, but I'm not going to go back and edit and I'm not even editing my videos, I'm just uploading them. Uh, we can't obsess with making it perfect, right? We can't. We, I, I used to think like, no, I, I want my, my purpose, like my journey is going to be all nice and beautiful and perfect. But if I never actually get on that path, when is my journey even going to, I mean, the journey is going, but when is it going to start? Like the things that I want in my life, when is that going to start? If I never leave my comfort zone, if I never actually take a step, right? And I don't even know where the hell I was going with that point anymore. But um, it's just that idea of being comfortable with making mistakes. I think we need to put ourselves out there more if we truly want to find our purpose. And it's so worth it. It's so worth it. I think the mistakes that I've made, I don't even call them mistakes anymore. It's all lessons. It's beautiful lessons. And I think... I don't know, I don't know, I think it's, that's what the journey is about, right? The journey is not going to be like straight up and all beautiful and nice and perfect, right? It's like up and down and going back and forth and all crazy like this, but the trend is up as long as you're moving. You can't improve, you can't go up if you're, if, if you're just dreaming in your mind about what you want to do and planning it out on paper and just making it all nice and perfect on a piece of paper, right? Please get out there and try some shit, please, please, please. That, that's, that's the beauty of life, that's the beauty. I want to embrace mistakes more, I want to try stuff, I want to, like that quote says, like we, at the end of life we don't regret the things that we did, we regret the things that we didn't do. So I don't want to die with more regrets inside of me, I've had an, enough regrets, too many regrets, and from now forward I just want to minimize the amount of regrets or actually erase the possibility of <laughs> I don't know if that's possible, but please give that a try.
please. I think a life with less regrets, I don't know if a life with no regrets if it's possible, but I think a life with less regrets mm, can be so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful. So I hope that helps. I'll put a link below for his video. Uh, really cool guy, check it out. And I really, really hope that helps. Um, I'll be making a ton more videos on life purpose. It's one of my favorite topics. So I hope that's helpful. Please leave some questions below so that I can make more videos about this. All right? Thank you. Thank you for watching. And I wish you the very best on your journey of finding your purpose. Have a beautiful day.